everybody, Shane back with you here from Guitar at Work. Welcome back. This is Squeeze Box by The Who. Ton of fun, this one. Ton of fun. Three chords with a neat little maneuver on each little chord that'll serve you well in other songs. And uh, again, Shane here from Guitar at Work. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for all your uh, comments, suggestions, and thank you for subscribing. Um, we'll be referring to sheet, a sheet, a song sheet. I've got it right here. Uh, go get this, shanesimpson.com. Uh, there's no charge, there's nothing to sign up for. It's gonna help you follow along a whole lot better. Uh, just look for a little red button, shanesimpson.com. This is download guitar at work song sheets and come back and uh, start the video again and you'll be able to follow along a whole lot better. It's got pictures of the chords and everything there for you. Um, so squeeze box by the who. We're starting out with a G chord. Uh, there's lots of ways to play a G chord. You're going to need what I refer to as the big kids G here. That guy there, let's get a close up of that guy. There we go. You've got ring finger here on the bottom, middle finger on the A string here, second fret, and pinky is going high E string, the third fret. There you go. Yeah. And the reason you need that particular one is we've got a little move coming up. Each of the three chords, G, D, and C, has a little move associated with it. So if I go G, the second chord you're going to see is C slash G up in the top of your sheet there. And that's just a matter of bringing that middle finger down toward the floor, one string, so D string, second fret, and then your first finger goes to where it would be for a C chord. And that's the first fret there of the B string. Yeah, we're trying to X out the A string, the second thickest string. We're trying to X out. It's not too hard to do. You just lean that ring finger over. I bet you it's happening without even trying, so it's a good thing if he's dead. So, yeah. So if I go back to that big kid's G here, we've got G, and then G, C slash G. And it goes back to G. There you go. So, how do you put that together? I'm going to go on the G, down, up, and then C slash G. Get those fingers over, a down stroke, and then back to G on the up stroke. So you get this down, down, C slash G, back to G. Again, down. And so slowly, that is down, up, down stroke on the C slash G, and then back to G on the next up stroke. So you get down, up. Yeah. yeah, now there's a little bit of a cheat, a little bit of a cheat, and it's a good thing to do. I'm not going to use my middle finger here on the G at all. I'm going to take him right out of there, and I'll make sure my A string is muted, which you very well may be, without even trying. So that's a G without the middle finger. Now all I have to do is this. Just remove them. You don't have to hurry back to get that middle finger back to his spot on the G. So easier version and completely respectable. We're going G, and then C slash G, off. Down, up, on, off. If you get that cooking, you feel the accent? The accent is where we're putting that C slash G in. One and two, this beats two and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Good. So that's it for G. It's going to go every time you're on a G chord, he's going to do that. And now D is the next guy. Uh, easier, way easier. Just say you're on your standard garden variety D chord here and you're going down up, just like you did on the G, and now your pinky's going on here. Third fret of the high E, and so you'll end up having two fingers on the same string. That's totally fine. Again, from the D, down, up, pinky on, pinky off on the upstroke. So it's kind of a rhyming shape to what the G was. Let me do that again. Down, up, on, off with the pinky. Down, up, on, off with the pinky. Down, up, on, off with the pinky. There we go. So you've got G so far, you've got D so far. Let's see what happens on the C chord. On the C, straight up. No, nothing weird there on the C. On this guy, to get his little maneuver, you have to flatten out your first finger to pick up the first fret here of the high E. So you squish him over, you C, and bar him, squish, and then return to your C. You gotta quickly flick him over and stand him up again. You're going down, up, squish, off. Down, up, squish, off, down, down, squish, off, there we go. So three maneuvers, uh, three different chords, three maneuvers. Let's review those very slowly. Here's your G chord. I'm going to get rid of the middle finger because we really don't need them. I'm going to go down, up, C slash G, on, off, repeat, down, up, on, off. That's going to go multiple times. When he hits the D chord, it's going to go down, up, pinky on, pinky off, down, up, pinky on, pinky off. Here's your C chord. Down, up. First finger squishes. Ah, there we go. It returns to normal. C, squish that first fret, and then we're back to G. Good. Now let me take it through the sequence uh, of this, the actual song. Let's get a good close up of that guy. We're going from G to D. Boy, G. Four times. 
is your D. Play it all night. C. Back to D here. Mama's got a squeeze box. C. Daddy never sleeps. G. At night. Voila, that is the song. I forgot all about the intro. The intro is just D with the pinky on. That's D sus4, uh, formally D sus4. You should get to know the names of those chords. Here's a D, I'll start with the pinky on, then off with the pinky. Multiple times. And you'll hear a big drum roll, big drum roll, and they're in with G. So from the intro, it's going D sus, D. Drum roll, here it comes, G and a ton of fun. Here's your D. C. Back to D. Mama's got a squeeze box. C. big long lead in there just keep doing the follow the form do that you'll see all the chords written for the lead and all that as well um, so quick and dirty as always but equipped with that sheet and a little bit of practice if those are new to you I'm sure you'll get through it uh, thanks again for comments and suggestions they really do help and uh, a lot of requests for this song and others um, so keep those coming please if you enjoyed it and benefited from this video please give it a thumbs up and I will look very forward to seeing you again soon for more videos I'm shooting a whole bunch today so uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification thing will tell you when the videos have come out so thanks a lot guys see you again soon bye bye now <laughs>